Okay. <clears throat> In terms of object stuff, I have this problem with going objects into objects into objects into objects. So, a lot of circles, no reasons for circles, but, and it's always done with these kind of strokes like this, like I'm a, like I'm painting. That's my problem. I do. I'm drawing like I'm painting. I need to start painting again because this doesn't make sense. That's how I paint. End up putting a circle. So this part right here, right right away, this, you know, this part here is in this part, is in this part, is part of this part. You know, sometimes it looks like it's a piece of fat or something coming out. Other times you could really tell it's coming out of it, <clears throat> or a part of it. So I have this thing that's a part within a part within a part within a part. And then I'll either just add another part. So now that's part of this, without any depth or anything, and just, you know, I keep on, it just, it's a bunch of scribbles and scribbles, and that's it. I have a problem with depth, I have a problem with finding the, the backmost point and the frontmost point first, because I'm not drawing, I'm not actually drawing anything I know of, basically. So it's a, a major problem. All right, let me see right here. So we have this. I always do this, like make these wings for no reason. This is a part that's in the background. Then we have this part. Now it could be this part on top can be a part of this, these wings, or not. I have no idea which they are. Even now as I'm looking at it, I have no idea if this is a part of this. I'm pretty sure that this is one thing but these wing parts I have no clue so if anyone has an opinion <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this video okay now saying that in my head since I don't usually talk when I'm drawing I want to add another thing who knows if that's gonna be a part of it or not I don't know if I should even make it equal on both sides because I usually don't like that type of shit and I kind of want to do it the other side, but I won't. If I do it on this side, I'll just look like too much like an icon design or something. So I have that. I don't know if this is a part of what. I'm pretty sure these are part because they're similar. Even if they color them differently, because I color sometimes I color an Illustrator, and that secures the part idea. Like right now, if I did that, Illustrator would change the lines a bit, but the the live paint feature in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, lets you fill in the colors e rather easily. Which I shouldn't be so addicted to, but Photoshop. I just don't. My computer doesn't have the power, or I don't have the patience to color in Photoshop at any time. I'd rather just draw and mess around. So we have this. Now, I don't know what I just did here. I wasn't even thinking. Now, is this a part of this? It's behind this. <laughs> so now this is behind this part and this part. If I add it up there, now I can't even tell anymore. It, the, the drawing doesn't make sense anymore. That does, this does connect to this, but who, who knows? I mean, it could be anything. I need to make it more clear what's where and what's doing what. Terrible. Anyway. So if I want to get away from that completely and add another figure, usually I try to separate them for the coloring. So I'll just start adding some other thing. Sometimes a person, other times just nothingness. Alright saying that here I don't know if this is a person or an object so I'll go from that and this I did pretty good because it doesn't have something inside something this looks like it could be a ledge I made this too much like a person but even here this is kind of looks like you know old uh, da Vinci drawings where he used to do this to just descript the shadow or something like that, you know. If you go like this and 
kind of just just barely descriptive. And now I messed up again, but whatever. So I don't say just doing wands to do shadow. I'm not even good at or light. I don't know what's that called when you have a line in a circle. <clears throat> all right, so that's there. I'll just leave that there because I don't know what all this is. If I colored this in, this would look crazy. This would be yellow, maybe orange, and then red, and it would look the same. All right. So usually the background in my head sometimes when I think of a background, I just think of one line. I think of a line right here. And that confuses me usually. I should work with squares, like in comic strips, just squares or rectangle beforehand, but this paper is kind of an odd. What else? That's pretty much all I do. Never mind. But I'm just doodling, that's basically it. Add another object, add another object. Nothing connected. And all scribbling and it usually ends up lo looking kind of like a grotesque. Grotesquery of some kind. Some kind of uh, bodily fluid. But that doesn't mind bother me. I would like to start drawing more in terms of what the process means. Because for years, the object with an object thing fascinated with me for no reason. I couldn't intellectualize it. And to me, it's just a waste of time. It's like, it's like drawing as masturbation. There's no point. It's not even something I need to do. It's just I'm bored. So here we have this. I should practice on just drawing things and people. This is a major problem. So we have three things here. One, two, three that constitute little things. This one is okay. This one has open space here. So obviously this is not a part of this. It's flowing into it. There's a flowing thing. Now I don't know how to describe that this is flowing into that. Could add a piece here. That would be kind of like a piece of fat going in. You know? All I know is I keep on trying to close the space. Like here, this is closed with circles and stuff. Even if it's not a line or a closed line. We, I could tell this is connected to this. That would be an open line in like cartoon metaphor. But with the circles, it closes it in a weird way. I always add useless stuff. Just uselessness. So we have one, two, three objects. Now, obviously, they barely have anything to do with each other. And on a regular comic, they might. I have some idea of an environment it would usually break down especially because there's so many lines all over the place it would be better to add in the computer or just with color the back you know with no black what the environment is anyway I could continue with the pieces so it looked like a tattoo sheet just with figures you know anyway this this doesn't make sense most of this doesn't make sense to me even like what the hell is this that doesn't make sense I mean when it's colored in pieces it looks kind of weird different I mean it doesn't look the same as just in black I don't know. See, when I was, if I would paint this exactly the way it is, it would just look 
it would look more interesting. So the color really brings stuff out, and, and the computer color stinks. I mean, painting using real color and then photographing it is the way to go. Anyway, that's a bit okay.